Mr. Shauna, thank you so much for joining us here. You are in charge of the climate change reaction in the country of the Maldives. Yes, I am. I'm the Minister of Environment, Climate Change and Technology. So explain what's happening in the Maldives. There's a lot of sea level rise and you are very, very low. Yes, the Maldives is about 1,200 islands and our islands are just about a meter above sea level. And because of climate change, sea level is rising, our coral reefs are dying, our islands are eroding, our water lands is getting contaminated, so we're running out of fresh water as well. I was talking to a climate expert yesterday who said that there is a plan to move the entire population to Sri Lanka, which is the closest nation to you. Is that really gonna happen? Have we come to that? What the IPCC report says is countries like the Maldives have just about two to three decades before the worst impacts of climate change hits us, unless we take action now. So I don't want to leave the Maldives. I don't want our country to relocate to another country, but the question is, if we fail to take action, I think that's the reality that we will have to face at the end of the day. What happens around the world when we have this kind of mass migration? We already know that migration has caused so many problems, so many political tensions, it's become a security issue. And not just that, I mean, migration and refugee status, we're talking about losing a country, a nation, a livelihood, um, a culture, a way of life. And, and I don't think that's what we should be aiming to. Rather, what we should be aiming at is taking action on climate change to prevent something like that. When global temperature rises, the ocean takes up most of that heat, and you're right in the middle of the ocean in a very low-lying place. Even if we stopped all carbon usage right now, would, would it save the Maldives? From what the IPCC report says, we could limit to 1.5, which, which, which can help countries like the Maldives if we make an ambitious commitment now what with the temperature increases and with global warming what's happening is it increases the sea surface temperature and then again it kills our coral reefs which is our survival our income and our food as food as well how is that already impacting the health of the people in the Maldives most of the reefs in the Maldives top reefs in the Maldives are dying and that means it's affecting our fisheries industry and um, it's affecting the protection, the natural protection in the islands and causing tidal swells and severe erosion as well. So what would, what would be, what's been the most encouraging thing that you've heard today and throughout COP since you've been here? There is an increased push and political awareness and um, public um, push as well for 1.5 and secondly um, there is more discussion and focus on at the need for adaptation and finance and if we can agree on these three things I think that's a significant achievement for this COP. Can you tell me one thing that's that's troubling you that you've seen and as an impact in the Maldives? As an impact of, of uh, climate of, change? Of sea level rise, yeah. Yes, we are seeing it. Uh, most 97% of our islands are experiencing severe erosion and no island in the Maldives has um, fresh water anymore. So the water lens has been contaminated because of saltwater intrusion and we depend almost entirely on desalinated water for drinking. And, ha and so and that uses a lot of power as well. Yeah. Correct. And where do you get that power from? We depend entirely on imported diesel um, for, to meet our energy demands. Our energy problems are enormous. Because we are a small island country, um, the, the, uh, we are also very much dependent on interna volatile international markets for this. So we, cu we are currently, we have a policy to reach net zero by 2030 and we've already invested in 12% of our peak demand is from renewable sources. So when we are um, installing new technology such as floating solar in the Maldives. So we are doing what we can uh, in the Maldives. Yeah, but, uh, but keep on cranking that, those diesel generators and 
that's what is giving you your water. So yeah. it's it's really serious uh, for and, people And there. our, yeah. our contribution to climate change is negligible, but we're yes, still yeah. transitioning into a country f that's run on diesel to one run by sunshine, which we have in abundance. It, yeah, absolutely. In the Maldives, there's plenty of sunshine. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Minister, for speaking to us. Thank you.